Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Sifu on the Steam Deck. So, 800p, this is an Unreal Engine 4 title. I have it on the Epic Games Store and I installed it using the Heroic Games Launcher. So, if you want to know how to do that, link in the description. But it's basically high settings with ultra textures. This game is not very hard to run, and we're going to target 60fps, which is always good. First, unlock frame rates, then handheld. But I mean, this game is awesome, it's very challenging. I put it on easy mode, not that there is an easy mode, but it has a flaw on the performance side. And it has to do with stutter, unfortunately. This one has Unreal Engine 4 stutter. <laughs> Traversal stutter, better said. But Unreal Engine 4 is usually pretty evident. So at least you're not fighting in general in those moments. But for example here, there you have one, it always stutters there. So it's specific traversal moments. So it's annoying, I wish it wasn't there, but hey, what can you do? But hey, I love the game so far. Again, I'm playing on easy, which was patched into the game. Because when I'm talking, not paying attention, making a video, I'm not really going to get past the first area of the game, <laughs> maybe. So yeah, I'm happy that they added a harder difficulty and an easier difficulty. So more people can experience this game. Again, I think it's a wonderful game. I haven't finished it yet. I was stuck in one of the boss fights. But I mean, it's a game that wants you to make mistakes and improve so you can beat your enemies without dying as much as possible. Here we're going to have another stutter. Wait for it. There we go. I mean, since day one we had that issue. So not a surprise, unfortunately. I wish it was rare to have those stutters in UE4 games. But again, the good part at least is that here it's only in specific places when you're traversing, not while in combat. At least so far. One thing that I don't know why happened though is I lost my save file. <laughs> I have to get to the place I was all over again. Freaking garbage. Thanks Epic Games for the... Bad Cloud system, I guess. Boom. A reference to Old Boy. That's what this section is. But again, in this case, lock it to 60, so go here and lock it to 60. The thing is, since it's an Epic Games Store game, so it's not a Steam game in this case, it's also available on Steam by the way, you have to enable VSync to be able to lock it to 60. Again, just a non-Steam game thing. And there you go, you don't use all the GPU or the CPU. I mean, it's mostly GPU bound. But it runs at 60, art style is great. Although the TAA is a little bit intense, I would say. Sometimes it's very noticeable. Get these two items. Oof, two for one? No. Reduce two items. Anyone? So, yeah, my advice is to log it to 60. You can also play at 30 if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. With I mean with a higher resolution. And I'm not playing on Ultra because it looks a tiny bit, very, very small difference. Tiny bit better. This locked? What? Oh. I don't know what happened there. Again, stutter traversal. That sucks. But it's not an issue of the Steam Deck. It happens on my PC as well. So yeah.
Despite being on easy mode, it's still a bit challenging, I would say. It's good that they telegraph their movement very strongly. Okay, here I'm dropping frames. Hmm. Weird. Oh, I think it's the foliage. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, no big deal. Yeah. It feels like it's the foliage. Yeah, when I look at there, I drop into the mid-50s. So if you care about that, maybe lower the foliage and shadows to medium, and you should be good all the time. I forgot that I lost frames in this part. But shadows and effects on post-processing is usually the best bet in UE4. In this case, again, I will keep it like this. I don't think it's a big deal. So let me show you how it looks in handheld mode, because I think it's perfect for the smaller screen. Alright guys, welcome back. Now in handheld, so battery life, according to this, is 90 minutes. We're at, well, 25 watts, including the screen and all that. But the CPU and GPU are more towards 15, because this part, again, I was dropping frames into the upper 50s, just lower shadows and foliage to medium, and you should be good. The warehouse. I'm getting closer. But again, as I was saying before, this is a game I really feel is the best for the smaller screen. The art style really shines, and the stutter as well, <laughs> when you are traversing. But it also came out on the Nintendo Switch, I'm going to cover that in a few hours, I guess. If not, in maybe tomorrow, we'll see. And this game on the Switch has very blocky shadows. And it has um, a 30 FPS cap that you can mod out and you can play at 60 with an overclock switch. I'm going to cover all that <laughs> eventually. And the game still looks pretty good. The only thing that really shows up as, as a sore thumb Left bumper and back, there we go. I forgot about that. So as I was saying, the only thing on the Switch version at least that is very, very distracting is the blocky shadows. This is the equivalent to the low setting. And the shadows there, despite being a low resolution, have no filtering to them. So they're blocky shadows. So I wish at least they put some little filtering to them. <laughs> and well, the resolution is cut very low as well. I think it drops as low as 540p or something like that. But again, with this art style, the game still looks incredibly good on the Switch, in my opinion. So props to the artists and designers for this game. It really shines on all platforms, in my opinion. And also very challenging, so the only thing that I wish they fixed right away would be the traversal stutter, but if still, since day one we've been having that issue, I don't think it's going to change. Oh yeah. If you want to give it a shot, please do. It's discounted very often on, on Steam. I almost bought it on Steam again, but I remembered I have it on the Epic Games Store. <laughs> so yeah, but it's, I don't know. It's just annoying to have to install it outside Steam. If you have it on the Epic Store, of course. And you can play at 60. If you want more battery life, consider a 30 FPS cap maybe, or 40s. Yeah, maybe 40s. But I mean, just the usual. There we go. But these two atoms. Oof, I wasn't paying attention. LMAO. <laughs> okay, I'm now 21. 
as you die you're going to age, you're going to have more strength but less health, just like in real life. Oof. My timing is horrible right now. There you go. Freak you. But it's very satisfying once to get the hang once you get the hang of it. Going in there. Oh, I need a key, right? Yep. There's two guys here waiting for me. <laughs> See when foliage shows up is when it suffers the most. So again, foliage on medium, shadows on medium. They're still pretty good quality shadows. And as a result, as I said, the art style, the game still looks great. Oh my, it's kicking my ass. Oh, he catches it in the air. Nice. But not enough to beat me. Okay, there we go, the keys. So yeah, that's it for now. Again, remember, there's traversal stutter that is very annoying. But it will be fine. And in the settings, you can play on high with ultra textures. But if you want more consistent 60s, shadows and medium, foliage and medium, you should be good. FX controls uh, the reflections as well. So if you go below medium on FX, you're going to lose the screen space reflections. And on the post process, it says sets quality of lights rendering. So it's probably the amount of lights in a scene. I'm guessing the artificial lights. So yeah, that is my advice. As you can see, even on medium, the shadows look good. Lower resolution, but they're still filtered properly, which is wonderful. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you, if you want to try the game, you go with patience <laughs> and I'll see you uh, next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.